Today, our Lord speaks of the birth and growth of the kingdom of God, which is hard to understand from our point of view. So, Jesus tells it through parables. The parables are short stories and they are used by Jesus whenever he wants to speak something that is close to his heart. The first reading is taken from Ezekiel chapter 17 verses 22 to 24. It speaks about the messianic prophecy. Ezekiel tells Israel how the Lord God will allow a descendant of King David to become the Messiah and Savior of the world. In the second reading, St. Paul urges the Corinthian Christians that they are to advance the growth of God's kingdom and his rule in their lives by doing his will so that they may be amply rewarded in the final judgment. In today's Gospel, taken from Mark chapter 4, verses 26 to 34, Jesus compares the growth of the kingdom of God to the germination of a wheat seed and that of a tiny mustard seed. But they have very small and humble beginnings. The seed of the wheat by gradual but steady growth, helps the farmer to get a plentiful crop, which becomes the bread as human food. In the same way, the life principle in a tiny mustard seed enables it to grow into a large bush, and its leaves can be eaten, and its seeds can be crushed and used for oil. Thus, for food as well as medicine. Even birds of the air and creatures like the bees and butterflies will come to rest on it and find food from it. The reign of God in human hearts and the growth of the church in the world also have small and humble beginnings. But the source of all life God, the Holy Spirit, gives to both a steady, persistent, and gigantic growth, provided we, the members of the Church, cooperate with God's grace. We allow the Word of God to grow in our hearts, in our communities, and in our Church. Then, gradually, our hearts become spacious, generous, loving, and sacrificing. We begin to welcome and reach out to people, especially the poor and needy, who are more ready to enter into the kingdom of God. They come to us to hear God's words and to become members of the church, just like the birds, the bees, and the butterflies that come to the wheat and mustard plants for food and shelter. So too in our hearts and in our church, it becomes a big home to gather and to give out resources to the needy in various forms of help, material, spiritual and social assistance. But for the Kingdom of God to grow in us and in our church, we must be holy and collaborate with the grace of God. During COVID-19 pandemic, we can examine how do we wish to be and how the Spirit is telling us to do. Do we choose to remain under the earth like the seeds? Or do we sprout up and reach out to people nearby who may be in need of our help? Or have we already grown up matured and advanced in our spirituality so that we can offer ourselves at the service of the kingdom of God. Let us not be discouraged when we don't succeed immediately, for we know the kingdom of God 
like the seeds of the farmers, grow from very humble beginning. Let us be blessed and become believers, preachers, evangelizers, and doers of good work. In God's name, we continue to sow tiny seeds of loving words, loving acts of charity, mercy, and forgiveness. May the kingdom of God grow flourishingly in our hearts and in our community and in the church. Praise be to God.